Hey folks, quick heads up. This video is only a part of a comprehensive course on Vueschool.io. Dive deeper and master advanced techniques by checking out the full course linked in the description below. Happy coding! In the last lesson, I mentioned a method that you could use in order to reuse your transitions throughout your app. However, there is another approach for making your transitions reusable that is actually recommended by the official Vue.js docs. And that is wrapping your transitions in their own custom transition component. Let me show you what that looks like in this lesson. In the source directory, I'm gonna create a new components directory and then a dedicated component for my fade transition. Next, I'll give the fade transition a template and a style section. It's actually going to be important here that we leave this style unscoped so that the transition classes can apply to something inserted into the slot of this new component. Now, let me head back over to app.view and copy everything related to the fade transition. First, I'll grab my styles. and add them to the style section of the new component. And then I'll do the same thing for the markup. Now though, instead of displaying a span inside of my transition, I wanna show a slot instead. That way this is reusable and I can insert anything in here from the parent component that I'd like. Great, I think that should do it. Now, in order to use this transition, back over in app.view, I can first import it and then wrap my span with it. This means I no longer have to specify the name prop since that's provided in the component name itself. Great, let's see if it still works. Perfect, my hello fade in still behaves exactly as expected. For homework, why don't you go ahead and try to do the exact same thing for the pop transition. To conclude, for this lesson, it's enough for you to know how to execute this approach. But in the next few lessons, we'll cover a few different concepts that will make the benefits of this approach more clear.